Max says this is the, uh, he's calling this the opportunity ball. What is the opportunity ball? You, your opportunity's there. You've already taken advantage of your opportunity, but it's an opportunity for a lot of guys. So what does the opportunity bowl mean to you? Um, I feel like the opportunity bowl is just, um, it comes in a couple of ways. One, it's an opportunity for a lot of younger guys that haven't been played throughout the years. You know, they finally get um, a little bit of their playing time in this game for the very first time. I know a lot of these guys are in camp are in camp calls. Um, we got a lot of guys that finally get some play time, playing time, um, some time that they've been practicing so hard for. And I feel like it's another opportunity for us to set a new trend. I know for the last couple of years that we haven't been, you know, successful in bowl games, but now we can have the opportunity to change the pace a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just try to get this um, get this dub out of the way and then move on to the next year on a higher note. I know the political answer to this question would be everybody, but is there someone, especially on defense, that maybe you're really looking forward to seeing the most see how they perform and get a gauge on because they'll be important going into next year? Um, well, you're right, the political answer it is everybody, so I am looking forward to everybody going for that. But um, one guy, two guys that I'm really um, looking forward to um, showing out is um, Caleb Collins and Mark Hamilton. Uh, so the guys have been practicing their butts off um, ever since they got moved up to the starting spots, and uh, those are guys that are very physical. Um, they're very eager to play, and I know they're um, put their best part of this field for me, so I'm looking forward to that happening. What are some of the things that kind of pop in up with those guys? Um, just for how young they are and how how fast they're able to process all the plays. Like there, we have some guys that are two, three years in the system, and sometimes they have like there are certain plays that they have no time on, have a hard time processing. For the guys that the second that they've been given the opportunity, they they took it and ran with it. They understood what their responsibilities were. They understood where they needed to be to make the right to make the right play. And uh, no one realized where everybody else needs to be as well. So just for how young they are and their ability to process everything at a fast pace, like if they were um, somebody that was older, you know, I feel like that's going to carry a long way. We talked to Gene last week, and, and he was talking about the different things he likes about Caleb Cox. And he said the fact that he was a really good baseball player in high school, and you can see because he can track the ball and he's got really good hand-eye coordination. Is that what you've seen from him? Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. I mean, best way to put it, he's just a great overall athlete. And so, um, and you want to put your best athletes on the field. So I know Caleb Cox is definitely one of those guys, man. And I feel like his baseball background has definitely played into um, football in a lot of different ways more often than not. But um, just going along with what I said and what you kind of got to from Coach Chiz, man, he's going he's gonna to put a good product on the field. And I know he's been waiting for this moment for a while, so I know he's going to do his thing. Have you seen Connor change at all the last two weeks? No, he's been the same Connor here. Is he a little bit louder? He said he was going to work on being a little bit louder. <laughs> it's kind of hard for him. Uh, I mean, like, it's not even hard for him. It's just like, you know, you have different types of leaders. You got guys that are very loud. You got very guys that's going to lead in a, in a certain way at a certain voice of magnitude. And then you have guys that lead in silence. They lead by example. And I feel like Connor is one of those guys. You know, he'll talk when needed. But um, he's just one of those guys. He's just even killed. He's just going to go in, put in the work, show what he can do, and then lead. And so I feel like, you know, that's something that he doesn't need to change. That's something that's who he, that's the guy that's who he is and has carried him this far. He's gotten to this point, so I don't see why I change it. And I feel like that's a nice and respectable type of leadership. It's just a person that doesn't do a lot of talking. He's just going to show you what he can do and go on about his day. Max said he's brought up what happened here two years ago a few times. How much can a guy like you, who's a part of that, personalize the way the team played and approach that game and maybe change that course to that tomorrow? Um, just the biggest thing is just get everybody on the same page. I know the last time, you know, there was a lot of different factors. You had COVID, you had um, just a lot of guys just, you know, we are trying to figure out who's playing, who's not. And so right now, that's out the window. COVID out the window, sickness is out the window. So now we just got to really focus on everybody being on the same page, understanding, like, this is a game that we can win. And trying to lock in on every single thing that we have going on. And so I feel like, you know, for me, like you said, being a part of that team that wasn't as successful, um, just making sure that nobody is going to be trying to get out their way to kind of mess up what we got going on. So I feel like we had a um, great productive um, couple of days of practice. And, um, you know, I feel like you can't beat that. And so I feel like that's going to carry us forward to getting us done this weekend. Um, it's not this weekend. Yeah. Your announcement your announcement site. Whose idea was that? Was that your idea? Yeah. So I got the vibe all on you. And you, 
you didn't really shy away from the question at all. I kind of got the vibe. Is it just, is it important to these days to make that announcement yourself and just say, yeah, of course I'll be back down this year? Or do something like that that, I don't think, is it important just to kind of stand out when you do that these days because we're in a different time now? I mean, I feel like it's the one zone. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this um, moving into a new day where, you know, people post a letter, they can post a video. Or you just have guys that you know that's just like, you know what, he's probably still coming back nine times out of ten. So it's just like, I feel like it's up to the person that feels the need to make the announcement. I feel like I was one of the people that needed to make an announcement real quick, get a couple of laughs out of people, scare some people. And, um, you know, I'm just kind of that guy. I like to trick people sometimes. There were people that didn't finish watching the video. No. Nah. And they went crazy thinking, because they were thinking you were going to come back. Cause and all of a sudden, they think you're gone. Yeah. Did you get any backlash from someone yeah. saying, hey, by the way, watch the rest of the video? Uh, yeah. Um, I had some texts. It was like, oh, my gosh, congratulations. I know you're going to do well. And I was just like, you didn't watch the whole video, did you? And so um, they were like, wait, are you serious? And I'm like, yeah, go watch it. And so, yeah, they kind of got mad at me for a short stint of time. But it was just like, dang, I'm sorry. I wish I would watch the video. Just like, all right, so. Thank you. Thank you.